a very warm welcome to Tech Mining. This tutorial will teach you how by using a combination of image upload and QR code features of Oracle Apex, you can enhance your web applications. These features offer valuable capabilities for handling images and generating QR codes. The image upload feature allows users to upload images, such as photos, logos, or documents, to your Apex application. You can use these uploaded images for various purposes within your application, like displaying user avatars, attaching documents, or creating image galleries. On the other hand, the QR code feature enables you to generate QR codes within your Apex application. QR codes are two-dimensional barcodes that can store various types of information, such as URLs, text, contact information, or Wi-Fi network details. Users can scan these codes with a mobile device or QR code scanner to access the encoded information. Now let's get started. Go to Object Browser, under the SQL Workshop menu. This is the table we are using in the video. To create this table, you can use the Create Table code provided in the video description. These are the columns of this table, using which we will be able to display the data through QR codes. This is a record I have added for testing purpose. Make sure that you must create at least one record for testing purpose, and its columns must contain some values. To facilitate developers, the record data is also provided in the video description. Now, create an interactive report with form page. Select the drawer option, it sets the page mode to modal dialog and uses drawer template for the page, this option will be available only if the current application theme contains drawer page template. After creating the report and form pages. In the report page, select the interactive report region to see the SQL query used in it. This query is fetching specific columns from the employees table, including the employee ID, name, the length of the EMP image column, URL, email, and geolocation information. The use of SYSDBMS log get length, EMP image, suggests that the EMP image column is a log type, and we are interested in knowing the length of the data stored in that column. Expand the columns node. These are the columns of the report page. Now, open form page in the page designer. Select the form page region to see the table we are using in the video. In the form page, change the type property of the following columns. 
set the type property to QR code. This item type encodes the selected source value into a QR code and displays it. Selecting the image upload type, displays an image upload item. This item allows users to upload one or multiple images from their local file system or device. Those images can also be optionally cropped or resized. Set the preview size of the image from auto to extra large. Allow cropping option, allows if the users can crop uploaded images. When this property is turned on, you will also be able to set the aspect ratio for the cropped image. By default the aspect ratio will match the file being uploaded unless another option is defined. Cropping is not currently supported when multiple files is enabled. After changing the types of the page items on the form page, and saving your work, open the interactive report page to give this segment a test run. This is the record on the interactive report page, which we have added for testing purpose. Edit the record to see the form page. These QR codes are the encrypted data in the page items in the shape of QR codes. This is a way to create a new record. Select any image from your desktop. Here we are facilitated to crop and resize the image. To access the encoded information another device is required along with a QR code scanner application installed in it. Let's first scan the name QR code of the user. The second QR code is a URL. Click the URL to see its data. The third QR code is an email. By clicking on the email, we are able to email the current user. Let's scan the last QR code which contains geolocation data of the user. Click search on the web, to see the geolocation data of the user in Google Maps. That's it for now. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned with us to have more new videos like this. Thank you for watching.